we actually had a pro-am a celebrity pro-am at Wentworth a couple of weeks ago and Shane Larry was playing with the jockeys and I said the night before I said the jockeys will win that pro-am sure enough <laughs> the next day Ruby Wall shows one from 30 feet on the last to win by a shot for the jockeys and they're a bunch of bandits Hello and welcome to the first edition of the brand new SBK Betting Podcast. I am Jess Stafford. Each week we will endeavour to bring you up to speed with all the best news and previews of the biggest events in the sporting calendar. Cheltenham Festival seems like the, the, the week that you always try and aim to get to. Yeah, it has been, although that last year I played in the Players' Championship that week, which was probably a good, good decision because I finished <laughs> second and won $1.6 million. So it's... Uh, it seems like a long time since Paris. There's a bit of a conversation about Brooks Kepka at the moment, who's talked about the, the, the contrast of going from an individual sport to a team one. Part of the thing about Ryder Cup and going into the team environment is adaptation. You have to adapt to different circumstances and some people find it difficult. But the pairings is another thing the media will be deliberating all the way up until their announcements. And we have seen some epic pairings, which we've just discussed. From your perspective, who would you like to see paired up together? Well, Brooks and Bryson on their side. Yeah. I mean, that's the obvious one. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll probably try and keep those two apart. You know, the Europeans won't be particularly concerned about what the, U the US team are doing. We'll just do our own thing and try and get our own pairings. The European team seem to seem to bond well and bond that little bit better. So uh, I, I never, I, I always go into it not really thinking that either team's particularly favourite. I just wanted to talk about the passion for racing. When I turned professional, I started playing golf uh, and, and had a bit of success, earned a few quid. You know, I decided to buy a racehorse, which was an expensive idea, and uh, <laughs> and and it's and it's really sort of <laughs> carried on from there. And your kills, yeah, it was really emotional watching him do his thing. You know, making a comeback, a bit like me and my career golf you know an old timer making a making a comeback another passion of yours i have to talk about nottingham forest your beloved team no you don't have to you don't have to I, have, I, have to. Yeah, I mean first and foremost we've had 27 managers in 17 years which is is just ridiculous isn't it you know i think with nottingham forest bringing a new manager and it's like giving somebody an aspirin when they've had a heart attack mm. i think uh, you know you're just plastering over the cracks all the time and another problem is you know Yes, they've got a great fan base, but you know a lot of the fans are living in the past. You know they're falling back on them two European Cup wins um, from oh, nearly forty years ago now, isn't it? So yeah, uh, I'm I'm a Chelsea fan. Very very different. That morning's foursome when Forest are lining up against Millwall. You might be having quite an important moment yourself. Do you have to wait yeah. till you're back in the clubhouse to catch up on the day's action? How are you going to follow it? Or you just have to put it to one side? Uh, I'll be a bit busy on Saturday, I think, to <laughs> the score. But you'll notice when Helen was holding the lap, she did walls of sleep as well. Yeah, I did. The, the, the thrilling football that Forrest are playing <laughs> at the moment. 